Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to repair the excessive brake pedal effort during parking lot speeds or through a drive-thru on your Chevrolet Silverado, Tahoe, and Suburban or your GMC Sierra and Yukon. First, let me say I'm sorry for the background noise. It's raining pretty good and this metal building tends to get a little bit noisy. Uh, when you have excessive brakes, especially during parking lot speeds, or like I said, through a drive-through, you'll find out that the vacuum pump is failing, that there's not enough vacuum when you're at idle or at lower speeds. When you give the uh, vehicle gas and it revs the engine up, speeds the pump up, and the brakes come back to working. But if you have hard pedal, excuse me, hard pedal at parking lot speeds, 90% of the time it's gonna be a vacuum pump assembly. I'm going to show you how to install it the quickest way that i found on a two-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive. You can install them from the top. I've done it multiple times, but from the bottom seems to be the quickest way. First thing we need to do is go ahead and disconnect our pipe. Pull this little piece of uh, heat shield back. There's a red clip. Push down on both sides of the red clip. It'll slide back and slide it off the pump. On this vehicle, somebody else had uh, taken this loose, so this clip that's connected to this bracket here was already loose, but if it's not loose, go ahead and take that uh, clip right there loose from that bracket and move it out to the side. Let's go ahead and disconnect our harness, our wiring harness from the pump assembly itself. Get that out of the way. Now, if you want to, you can come through the top here with a 15 millimeter socket and get the four bolts out and work the, uh, the pump out the top. But I've found it's easier to come from the bottom and you can just slide it right out of the bottom, no problems. Again, like I said, I'm sorry for any background noise, but this right here is your pump assembly and you have a stretchy belt. You don't have to cut this belt. I'll show you an easy way to get the belt on and off. Uh, while we're doing this, but let's go ahead and take the belt off. What we're going to do is we're going to take a 24 millimeter socket. We're going to put it on our crank bolt so that we can spin it. We're going to take a flat tip screwdriver, stick in between the stretchy belt and the pulley. And we're going to turn it slowly while we're pulling down on the belt. As soon as the belt starts coming off, go ahead and spin it and get it off the rest of the way. Slide it down to the bottom. You don't have to take the main belt or the AC belt off to do this. What makes this job easy to do from the bottom is you can go ahead and disconnect the steering linkage from the steering rack and slide it out of your way. But make sure that the steering wheel is locked and in place before you disconnect it. You don't want it spinning around. That's an 11 millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and slide this up and get it out of our way. You have four 15 millimeter bolts holding this on. I figured I'd show you from this side to make it a little bit easier so you see it in the truck. Uh, but just go ahead, put a 15 millimeter swivel on a ratchet and you can go ahead and remove this pump pretty simple. Okay, so I know I said in the last part that these were 15 millimeters. They're actually 13. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but let's go ahead. We're going to remove the back two first. Uh, if you put just a little extension on there, it'll, it'll make it so much easier you can get to. We'll go ahead and do the back two and then the uh, front two. Another thing is uh, you will lose a little bit of oil, so make sure you have something down there to catch the oil. Uh, 
when you disconnect that bolt, that last bolt. Now that we got all four bolts loose, let's go ahead and take and slide the pump behind this harness. Come right out the front with it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and slide our new pump in. Make sure our gasket's on right. Sorry, I know my arm's probably blocking the shot. All right. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start the bolts. All right, let's go ahead and tighten all of our bolts down. We're going to uh, torque these down when we're done, but let's just go ahead and get them all the way down and started. The torque spec for this is 18 foot-pounds. Let's go ahead and torque those down. Let's go ahead and reinstall the belt. What we're going to do is make sure the belt is on the balancer correctly. Start it on the top of the pump. Pull it down as close as you can. Put your 24 back on the crank bolt and just with your thumb pull it back over. until it's lined up. Make sure it's right on the back. It is. Make sure it's good on the top. Let's go ahead and install the steering shaft. And install the bolt. The torque spec on this bolt is 33 pounds foot.
Let's go ahead and reinstall this vacuum hose. And clip it back on. Reinstall the heat shield. And you're done. Again, I'm sorry if there's any background noise. This rain just isn't wanting to let up. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Click that subscribe button. Help me help you. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up or click one of these other videos wherever they are. Thanks again for watching.